in Nepal, it's traditional for men to wear a topi, a brimless cap. Once, in some village or other, there lived a girl with her family. She wanted to marry a man from a different clan. She knew her parents and older brother would not accept. So one day she vanished. They didn't see her for years. But finally she said to her husband, I would like to see my mother and father, my older brother. Come with me, my husband. Come with me to meet them. Well, her husband was worried. All these people, he wouldn't know them. How would they see him? So he asked his friend to join him. It was a long journey. They set off in the morning, but all day they walked. They arrived in the evening. It was already dark, and his wife rushed inside. Her husband had noticed that his friend was wearing a toppy, but he had none. He couldn't even afford one. What would his in-laws think of him? Friend, he said, please, can I borrow your toppy while we're here? Of course said his friend. He put the toppy on his head, and soon after his wife had met her family, her father came out of the house holding a lamp. Which one of you two is my son-in-law? Her husband was hesitant, a little bit nervous. The friend said, He is your son-in-law. He's wearing my toppy. Ah, said the father, and went back inside. Why did you mention the toppy? <laughs> Why did you say it was yours? Don't do that. All right, said his friend. Soon his wife's mother came out of the house. She was holding the same lamp, peering into the darkness. Which one of you two is my son-in-law? He's your son-in-law, said the friend, and he's wearing his own toppy. The mother went back inside. I said, you don't need to mention the toppy. Oh, stop doing that. Not long after, his older brother-in-law came out of the house into the darkness with the same lamp in his hand. Which one of you two is my brother-in-law? He's your brother-in-law, said the friend. And, and, <laughs> let's not even mention the toppy. This story I learned from Sikha Gurung, from Nepal. It's called Don't Mention the Toppy. And um, it's today, Tuesday the 26th of May 2020, a breath of fresh air. Thank you, Sikha Gurung.